aren't those a sight for sore eyes? How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub and today we're uh, continuing on the last one. The last one, mind you. I was gonna say, my goodness gracious, we should probably switch to the other Zarza weapon. We are testing out the Zarza 308 on Class 9 Animals. And being in Hirschfelden, of course, uh, the one we're going to be going after right now is the European Bison, everyone. We've gone after Lions, we've gone after Cape Buffalo, we've gone after Plains Bison in the Yukon, and then we went after Water Buffalo in Barque Fernando. And now, now, we're going after European Bison, everyone. So if you haven't seen those past videos, feel free to go back and check those out, but otherwise, Let's just continue watching and try to find one of these European bison. We already found a track. It says it's very old, though. I have to do a bit of work here to find out where they've gone. Now, of course, as I've said in other episodes in this little short series, the Zarza 308 is not a Class 9 capable weapon. I mean, it, it, it can take them down, but for full integrity, you should really focus on Classes 4 through 8. But, of course, if you're not chasing after a diamond and only in it to make a little bit of money on the side, the Zarza 308 is going to do just fine. And so this series is to show you how many shots you are going to need to put into some of these Class 9 animals to drop them down. Ooh, ooh, yes sir. Yes sir, eyes on everybody. It's getting real. They're at a rest zone over here. Just on the edge of where these kind of pines meet the, uh, I don't even know what those are. The other trees. I tell you what, these European bison, being a Kansas boy, bison are not a stranger to me, but these European bison, they are a whole nother deal. If you've never seen any video of European bison in the flesh, I'm telling you what, you better check it out. Something about them being in the forest is just give, just gives them an aura of mystery, I'm telling you. Ooh, we received our first mating call in this direction. That is what I'm talking about. Of course our wind is going straight to them. Oh, that's not good. Just give me one chance to get a lung shot on one of you. So we learned one thing at least, a good shot towards the heart is going to have enough penetration to get straight to vital organ obviously. So so I was curious with that first shot, I thought it was going to be right on, and it was. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. We basically, I just kind of aimed to the inside of this uh, little neckline here, and that's exactly what worked out for us. So the 308's definitely having enough penetration from the front. We probably could have shot that big bull facing directly at us. Um, I just didn't want to chance it, and I wanted to be able to test broadside capabilities. But of course, if it's uh, if it's working from the front, getting that penetration to get to the heart and the lung, mind you, then uh, we're definitely looking good from the side. I wonder if we can run off to the side here. He's just kind of trotting along. He's the biggest, the biggest thing in the forest. He doesn't have a care in the world. There we go. Got a good broadside shot on him. We'll at least be able to see that second shot, what the penetration is. Probably drop him in his tracks right now, but I don't think we'll need to. Should be there he goes there he goes timber timber let's go pick this guy up and see what sort of penetration we're dealing with from a broadside shot perspective you can see that big big spot of blood right there definitely a good sign and there he is all right so let it too much in the front there such a giant hump it's it's a it's honestly a very beautiful animal but yeah let it way too much expected it to kind of run into the bullet there but really um it's just a difficult angle to be honest but when he gave us that broadside shot we were able to uh yeah get that second shot off in the flesh and in the lung obviously didn't have the penetration to get to the other lung but doing 93 percent of the damage there to that other shot just didn't help 
just going off that, I, I'm assuming if we had never made that first flesh shot, I think this first shot or the second shot into the uh, into the broad side there, I think that would have been just enough to bring him down. So uh, yeah, with that, so long as you didn't run into a uh, a nice diamond capable European bison here in Hirschfelden, I think you'd be able to pretty much run around with the Zarza three pack and handle pretty much any animal in Hirschfelden. Ooh, loud noises, loud noises. Mm-hmm, down they go. Oh, no! The Zarza ammo is getting to us here. I thought we got a pretty good shot on both of them there. This one's dropping down. Here we go, first shot. Ooh, got the spine and the two lungs there. Ha ha ha, running into a tree, you crazy. Here we go, another one into the lung there. Now we did see with one of the past animals that a lower shot on the lungs gave it enough penetration to get both lungs sometimes, but not in this case. I think we hit that bone there, it kind of kind of stopped the penetration and with the angle it was going, it's going back towards this uh, empty cavity there. Not too shabby. One other bison around here somewhere. Where are they, Bjorn 2? <clears throat> yeah, I'm telling you, with this Zarza, you're gonna have to be a little bit careful with what you're shooting because before you know it, you just eliminated all of your need zones over here. Um, you know, you better be a little bit careful. It is a lot of fun, don't get me wrong. To squeeze off a bunch of rounds real quick towards a bunch of animals, but hey, if you're one to do any sort of planning with your need zones, might be a little disappointed when you find them erased off the map. But hey, with that uh, European bison there, that's going to complete all the Class 9 animals within the Hunter Call of the Wild so far in February of uh, 2022 anyway. I hope you enjoyed this short little series, and if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button. Like I said in the beginning, if you hadn't seen the other videos, make sure you check those out. And if you want to see more videos here in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because we've got plenty of more videos coming out this year and many years to follow, so definitely looking forward to it. If you want to catch one of our live streams, make sure to check us out every Monday, Wednesday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, where we play some of your favorite hunting and fishing games, don't we, Bjorn? Don't we? Bjorn too. And maybe if you're lucky, you might see the actual Bjorn, which is uh, always fun. But until next time, everyone, take care, and as always, remember everyone, one planet, one family, game on.